Hey everyone, The Pink Mac here, and I have some really great news. I actually found finally something, a program that would help me to tether my new BlackBerry Tour to my Mac. If you saw my weekly tech roundup, you know that I was really frustrated because Verizon told me that my, when I went to the Verizon store, they told me that uh, if I got this BlackBerry I would be able to, and with the tethering plan, I would be able to tether it to my Mac. But unfortunately, that's not what I found out once I got home. And I had called Verizon Service, and they told me that they didn't actually carry any phones at all, any smartphones at all that would tether to a Mac. So obviously, I was really disappointed. But the good news is, I found a program called Tetherberry, and I am on the free trial right now, and it's so far it's working for me. I did a little bit of a test out for it and so basically I just want to show you guys roughly how to do this yourself. I already have everything installed on my Mac and on my Blackberry but here's the website it's www.tetherberry.com and if you go to click on free trial you'll be able to if you see here you'll be able to download all you'll find this page here you'll see where you can try it for free for seven days. So if you have a Mac, obviously this is free. So what you'll do is just download that and just follow the steps to download it. And then you'll go down to, um, you'll actually have to open this page on your Blackberry, on your Blackberry's internet. And through this link down here that says download Tetherberry on your Blackberry by opening the following URL in your black with your Blackberry device from the browser. So just follow this link and download that to your Blackberry. That was really easy, really quick to do. So once you have both of those things installed, what do you have to do? And I'm going to show you right now. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do to prove that I'm going to have an internet connection is I'm going to turn off airport. So now I'm not getting any internet to my computer. So I'm just going to minimize this real quick as well and X out that. No, that got there. The first thing you need to do is connect your BlackBerry to your computer using the USB cable that they provide you. So right now, you should be seeing a picture of my BlackBerry screen right now. That I'm, And right now, I'm just going to plug it in. So I'm plugging in that USB into my BlackBerry and then I am going to plug the other side in to my Mac. So right now, you can might see, I'm just going to say yes. Uh, you actually, yeah, you have to have this set to mass storage mode, I forgot about that first. Um, you can go into options and go into memory options. It's options memory and you'll be able to select. Let me see if I can actually um, show that to you real quick. Because you're going to need to have this set that way. There it is, options. You're going to have to hit options. You'll go to memory down here. And it's going to say... Um, auto enable mass storage mode when connected. I put prompted because I want it to ask me. So um, you'll change that to prompted or ask. You need to have that like that in order to get this to work. So as you can see, I've got that on there. And that's all set up properly. Now you're going to go and search for your Tetherberry GUI file and you're going to open that. Then, um, as you can see, it's asking me for my password. So I'm going to put my password in. Um, and now I'm going to select on my BlackBerry the Tetherberry icon. So do you see how it says now on the BlackBerry that Tetherberry is running? And on my computer, you see it says Tetherberry Connection Active. So actually, it's saying right now that I'm getting the internet. And we can check this by opening Network Preferences. And you see that it says, I am connected 
via Tetherberry. Now, if it says you're connected on this screen and not on the screen that says Tetherberry, but it does not say you're connected on your network, then you're not connected. You should be getting these packets sent and received and the data sent and received and your status should say Tetherberry connection active. Now I had it saying earlier uh, when I was trying this a few times earlier I wasn't doing it quite right and it said that Tetherberry was connected but it didn't say it was active so you need to have it all set like this and then you can see I'm gonna go you know my wireless is down I don't have my my airport on and I'm just gonna go and let's try a website real quick Let's go to Yahoo. And you can see that it's saying it's loading on my Mac. Okay, so we've got an active Tetherberry connection now. Now let's try this again. Okay, and now you see that it actually did work. So um, this is something that you may have to try a few times in order to get it working, but once it does, once it really does establish that connection, it works pretty well, I think. You can see I just click something and it's going to come up now. Now it's not super lightning fast speeds obviously, but once you have the connection working properly, and it may take you a, f a few times, you see that I just did it that first time and it didn't work. Um, here it. But after you get it running, it will run. So um, I don't think this is terribly slow it's not like it's unusable. You can see Tetherberry connection active. My network's still saying that it's act it's connected. So that's all good news. Um, I'll just go to some of these top sites and we'll just test to see how fast this is working. So not bad. And of course, when you want to disconnect, you're just going to hit exit. And that's going to ask you for your password again. And then you're out of Tetherberry on your phone as well. So that's how you use the Tetherberry application. Thanks for watching this um, quasi quick tutorial on it. Um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Miss Trenchcoat. You can rate and comment to my on my videos. I really appreciate those. And you can still message me on my screen name, the Pink Mac blog, and you know, let me know if anyone's having trouble with this stuff, and I'll let you know how I'm doing with this. So as you can see, it's not perfect, this method. You have to, you know, kind of attempt it a couple of times, maybe. Like you see, I had to do it twice in order to get it to work, but in the end, it did, and that's really the most important part. Okay, so thanks for watching my video. I'll see you guys later. Bye.